Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about my random floor generation. So during the Wumpus World game, one of the unique things that I wanted to add to the project was randomly generated floor layouts. I had to figure out a way to randomly pick out the different floors and put them into the map, but have it still be playable and have the player be able to win. If we look here, I've got the four different floor plans right now. Only three of these, the bear floor, the pit, and the treasure room are being used in the game, but these are all the prefabs that I have right now, and that's what I've done. I've actually created prefabs of these so that I can instantiate them at runtime. What I do, if I press play here, you can see that I've got bare floors, I've got the treasure up in the corner here, and then I've got three pits that have been placed. And what's happening is it's iteratively going through and placing pits randomly through the floor plan. So if we do it again, you see the pits are now in different places. And I think each time it places three pits in just in random areas. So each time it's different, but there's always going to be a path to the treasure. There's never going to be a, an instance where you won't be able to reach the treasure. And I did that by using a pathfinding algorithm from the player's position to the treasure. So later on I could add other prefabs and other uh, elements to the floor plan, other hazards that would spice up the gameplay a bit. I just wanted to show you guys some cool stuff you can do with random generation and uh, random instantiation at runtime. And what I've done here is pretty basic and you can apply it to a lot of different things. That's about it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you next time.